Hi and welcome to this DTP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video zoom transition effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got two video clips. I downloaded these video clips from Pixabay. I'll put links to these same video clips in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere and we just drag and drop these into the media pool here. So we've got the two video clips in here. Let's drag and drop them onto the timeline. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key and zoom using the mouse wheel right into these video clips. This one, the second video clip actually has an audio. So I'm just going to right click and unlink it and then click on the audio and delete that. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this first video clip. When we select that first video clip, we'll have the options up here across the top. And we're just going to rotate our mouse wheel upwards until we get to edit control. So you can rotate it downwards and you can scrub through all of these different options here. And we want to get to edit controls. When we click on that first video clip, we've got some basic options here. So we've got like size and position and scale and rotation. But we want a bit more control. So we're going to go over to the effects options here, effects, and we're going to type in transform. When we type in transform underneath distort, we'll see the transform effect here. We're just going to drag that onto the first video clip. When we drag that, we see there's many more options now to manipulate the video clip. We want to drag that transform onto the second clip as well. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the first video clip. When we click on that, you'll see a timeline here. And this timeline represents the duration only for this first video clip. Let's move this timeline all the way to the end. And when you move it all the way to the end, in effect, what it does, what Premiere does is move you to the first frame of the second video clip. We don't really want that. So let's click on the timeline up here and then use the left arrow key to go back one frame. When we go back one frame, we'll be on the very last frame of the first video clip. So in the options down here, we need to make sure that uniform scale is turned on. You can scale objects or scale the video clip uh, on the width and height independently. But if we turn this on, then it will be uniform on the scale. So in the scale options, we want to click on the little stopwatch and that adds a keyframe. And on this particular keyframe, we want to zoom in on that video clip. So we're going to set the value here to 240. So now we zoomed right in on this video clip. Now we just want to zoom towards that video clip. So we want to move back on the timeline. So let's click on the timeline here, right here on the cursor, and then use the left arrow key to go back one, two, three, four, and five keyframes, only five keyframes. And then we can just click inside here and set that value to 100. Now it's going to zoom in on that video. So if we were to move this timeline, you will see it zooming in on this particular clip. We want to add sort of a, a sort of motion blur, some type of blur effect to it. So what we we'll do is in the options here, we want to turn off, use composition shutter. And inside the shutter angle, we're going to set this to, uh, let's see, 300 degrees, 300 here. Now you can see this blur effect. And if we were to move across the timeline, you can see that clip is going to zoom in and blur. That's kind of what we want. Now we just want to repeat that logic, but for the opposite uh, for this second clip. So let's click on the second clip. That will change all of the settings in here for only the second clip. Let's go all the way to the beginning of the timeline. So drag this cursor right to the beginning. And uh, we want to go five frames in advance. So we're gonna go press, use the right arrow key on your keyboard and go one, two, three, four, and five frames. And on this fifth frame, we wanna click the uh, stopwatch to add scale. And we're gonna leave that at 100 because we wanna zoom out into 100. Now let's go all the way back to the beginning of the timeline, five frames to the left, to the very beginning. And we're gonna set this value here on the scale to 240. So now it's gonna zoom into this clip, the opposite of the previous clip. And we wanna scroll down here, turn off, use composition shutter, and set this value to 300 as well. So let's see. If we move back on the timeline and click the play button, we'll see this zoom in and zoom out effect. Let's just watch that again. So it's kind of zooming in and zooming out on that transition, right? Just between these two clips. Now there's a few other things we can do. Um, we could add a bit of rotation, which will be nice. So let's try and add a bit of rotation. First thing we should do really is zoom in. So let's click on this um, first video clip. Let's click on it. And there's a little left handle here. You can see the left handle. Left click on that and drag it towards the right. And that's going to allow you to zoom in on this timeline. So we can see the keyframes a little bit more clearly now. They're spaced that wider, but um, the actual duration is still the same. We're just zooming into it. And what we want to do is add a rotation. So let's just make sure we're on the same keyframe. Move the cursor to this uh, 
first frame here. In fact, what we'll do is, let's see, we want to rotate it on the, on the way out. So let's go to the last keyframe, this one here. And on the rotation here, we'll uh, enable the stopwatch. And we're going to set it to a small amount, like 15 degrees. So it's going to rotate slightly. You can see the slight rotation. Let's go back to the previous keyframe, this one here. And we set the rotation back to zero value. Let's select all four of these keyframes, right click on them and set them to auto bezier. This will just smooth out that transition between them. So now it's going to zoom and also rotate. And now we just want to repeat that logic for the second video clip. So let's click on that second video clip. And again, we'll drag this handle so that we can zoom right in. And we can see the first keyframe here and the second one. So this time we want to rotate in the opposite direction. So what we do is go to, uh, let's see, let's go to this keyframe here, this end one, and we'll enable a rotation here. And we're going to leave that rotation at zero value. Let's drag the handle all the way back to the first keyframe here on this line. And we're going to set the rotation here to minus 15 degrees. So it's going to rotate the other way around. So as we move back on this timeline and click the play button, we're going to get this nice little sort of transition effect as it rolls over those two clips, which I think is pretty cool. So that's how you go about creating a sort of zoom blur transition using Adobe After Effects. I think it's a pretty cool transition. It's nice and easy to do as well. Um, and of course, Adobe has its own presets on transitions, but sometimes it's nice to know how to control these things uh, in a bit more detail. And you can go and experiment with this particular transition, change the rotation, change the amount of zoom, you can play around with the opacity and stuff like that. And you can experiment with this and make your own version of this transition. So let's minimize this. Let's close this folder down. That's how you go about doing a zoom transition effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Web tutorial.